All right, uh, Twitch and YouTube, what's up? It's Wiz, welcome. Um, so yeah, I'm happy that it's Friday because it's my last day I can procrastinate on this shit. It's uh, 7.58 p.m. I got to go to work in 42 minutes, so we're going to do another double feature. Um, on top, we have Bester Poetry, uh, Abaddon, uh, Complete Boy, and Stan's team, Scappy. And then on bottom, we got uh, Malignan and his Iron Dragons. Um, I don't remember if these guys fought in the tournament before, but we'll find out. Um, I guess we'll just introduce the units then. So, Best of Poetry, the Thief, Complete Boy, the Knight, Abaddon, the Ninja, and Stan, the Man, the Female Priest. Uh, and now for Malignan, we have Malignan, the Lancer, Pawnee, the Summoner, Chandra, the Summoner, and Mrs. Kane, the Mime. So... Double summons plus the mimics. Uh, very strong offensive team overall with uh, two hands on this Lancer. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, of course, with uh, the ninja here having Hamido. So if he, this uh, Lancer ever tries to go on the ninja, there's a 70% chance Hamido will trigger. Um, uh, Bastard Poetry, let me look at it. I think he's got neutral compat with all the ladies, right? Yeah. So he's got neutral compat with all the females here. The thief. Um, so yeah, it's just going to be mostly summon magic and mimicking versus uh, this team. A um, little bit more versatile. Uh, having a beefy damaging unit. So, um, Just because of past events, I'm going to give this one to uh, uh, Bastard Poetry, but we'll see. Um, I guess for the map itself then, let's go to... Let's go. Not, not the arena. Hmm. I think Banished Fort. I think that's a larger map. Actually, you know what? Hmm. Let's go to Valkyries. Yeah, let's go to Valkyries. I always... I kind of like this map. It's like a snake. Hmm. These, um, these pretzel bites are really good. Hmm. Hmm. This is really good. I think one of them has dance, so that there could be mimic dances. One of those summoners. Okay. Yeah. They don't have insanely high mobility. So we should all be able to stay together. Maybe with the exception of that uh, ninja. He's got higher base speed than everybody. So yep, there come the dances. I think it's slow dance. This can be one of the two applications of it off at the very least. Yep, three points of speed. Bear in mind that speed is going to hurt the ninjas, uh, that's going to hurt the ninja big time. Uh, because the ninja won't be doing as much damage with throw, and it's going to be harder for him to sink his jumps, but more so the throw damage, since that's the formula. Um, any charms? No, no silence, Brock. Okay. Only one application of slow dance. Oh, it's still going. Okay. A Pokemon, yeah, he does not have evasion requirement. Oh, they're not tar they're not targeting him because he's gonna die from a distance. He's gonna die from the summon. Yeah, yeah I was. Oh, okay, nice, nice. Yeah, I was wondering why that Lancer wasn't targeting him at first, and then it made sense. Um. Remember that knight lost not three points of speed. That knight used to be very slow. Um, raise, okay. Nobody can. Only the priest can revive uh, the oracle, and uh, oracle's got low mobility. <laughs> Mimic raise, nice. Um, let's see. Oh wow, hundred percent jump all of our life bar. Holy shit! It does go up. Goddamn. Okay. Uh. Our thief is still a little bit too far away to be resurrected by the priest. HP restore for 39, it's very small. Um, the ninja's probably gonna put him down with a throw. No, jump, okay. Uh, she's probably gonna get mid-charged here. Yeah, she should be. Oh, she dodged 18%, oh. Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, Mimic kill doesn't heal, heal anyone, sadly. Lancer doesn't die. She should be using summon magic. A holy, it looks like. Alright. 
All right, so the two speedy units are down. It's down to this knight and this uh, woman right here. But he grasp, okay? HP restore, okay. Oh wow, the mimic, the mimic, nice. So she couldn't get that holy spell off, yeah. It is up to complete boy and he's lost three points of speed. This round will definitely be going the Malinkton because of uh... This round's definitely going the Malinkton because of the three points of speed lost. Um, they can use Chakra, but he's gonna take too much damage. He's going to die. I to restore again. Again, he has like five points of speed. He went from eight to five, so he's gonna get outpaced, and H to restore is eventually not gonna trigger for him. So he will be dying. Mm. Good use of the the mime. The mime was able to turn around, use the Leviathan on a um, thief beforehand. There you go. All right, so. I expect things to be a little bit different in uh, round two. I think it's going to be like a, a bomb being dropped. So let's get that shit right back on the road then. Um, let's see what we got. Let's try and look at the maps. Sweegee Woods? Nah. Ah, uh, Grog Hill. Okay, that's fine. They're on the bottom portions of the map, so you could make this like a quote unquote large map if they started in opposite corners, and then the, you'd have all this terrain to deal with. But the blood, the actions could take place real fast. Um, let's see. Okay, ninety damage. Okay. Any charms? No charm misses. Fifty-three percent. Pretty good odds too. I think the charm is gonna go on someone else. Oh wow, he's dead. Jesus. Alright, that combined with the jump is probably going to kill someone off. No. Dragon Spirit, good job. She's alive. She's going to heal. And there's going to be a Mimic heal, but I think that summon's going to go off. She did move forward, so I'm guessing the summoner's spell will go off before this. Uh, nope. Titan. Okay. Oh, right, she's got uh, float boots. So she's immune. Wow, oh my god. We're down to a 3v1 again? Holy shit. A 4v1? Oh my god. <laughs> that was actually pretty impressive. I'm like, why did she move forward when the summon was being casted? Oh, that's right, she's got float boots. So she's immune to Titan. This Oracle, uh, I don't think she's going to be able to pull it off. That looks like a huge summon, like a Leviathan or something. Mm. Shiva, okay. So it's a 2v1 uh, Lancer, okay. Remember there's Dragon Spirit on that uh, other summoner, so the only one that really needs to be resurrected is the one person. Stan's getting the perfect CTs going off. Um, Probably another healing? Yeah. I don't remember which is faster, Raze or like a Shiva. Because the Shiva will kill him off. Yep, the Shiva's faster. Alright. Yeah, so one more summon like that in that uh, knight is dead. That's over half of his life bar. Yeah, see? 184 to 292. And she's going to get constantly put back up, but... Oh wow, Shiva, nice. Pretty devastating right there. Speed save onto the two-handed Lancer. So, uh, with speed save, he's going to be able to get more and more turns, and he's going to be able to eventually double turn. Um, scab Pete. Yeah, there we go. Double kill. All right, well, that was pretty decisive. What do we got? Under 10 minutes, including the beginning intro. So, wow. Uh, we're going to go to our uh, next set of competitors then. That was pretty quick. Let's go right to it. Crash and hearable, huh? Okay. All right, we're gonna make a save state. Ooh, we got a female monk. All right. Um, one second. Mm. Yeah. Okay.
Yep, Crash and one of other Hero Ball's other teams. Let's introduce them, I guess. All right, so we got Crash the Monk, Tank the Lancer, M.O. and the Summoner, and Jack the Knight. And now for Hero Ball and his team, we got the Hound the Monk, Hangry the Geomancer, he can eat all the priest, Nep and Chickens and Ninja. So, looking at very briefly, status oriented ninja, generic priest, um, with some of magic, play grasp, uh, kind of a, a status oriented geomancer. She does a magic attack up, she has item as well. Kind of tanky with the MP switch. Um, another tanky monk. These are both tanky monks. One's male, the other's female. Um, just looking at it, they both have basic skill, which is interesting. Just different uh, reaction abilities and of the like. I'm guessing she only has accumulate, right? So if this uh, monk um, is not in range, she could just use accumulate and spam shit. So equip our monks indeed. Yes. Uh, Ziek Fenzi, however you pronounce your name. Sorry, man. <laughs> this is kind of interesting though. The two-handed Lancer. Um, with Yin Yang Magic, because you can see his MP pool is so freaking low. It's 22. Um... I think he's got uh, Spell Absorb and something else. Oh, let me look at... Uh, where's Oracle? Where are you? you? Little bastard. Yeah, see? Pray Faith. Pray Faith is mostly to uh, augment this uh, summoner's damage output. That's really what it's for. And then we got another status-themed uh, knight. So, uh, you could say that this is a hacked file. Yes, it's going to be AI tournament teams uh, duking it out with one another. Uh Ziek Fenzi, so um, I guess the map we're gonna go to, I really haven't thought about it. I think Mandalia Plains is the one. Uh, I'm pretty sure that these guys are quite a bit of distance from one another. Let's see if I'm right. Yeah, they're in opposite corners. Okay. <laughs> Old classic uh, uh, chess colors right here. Uh, any songs or dances will be useful for these few turns, and there's that accumulate like I was talking about. She's just gonna kind of do her own thing, and she's got the same PA now as the male monk. It's just a matter of compatibility and genders, you know, for all that good stuff. Um, yeah, so nobody has any songs or dances, so those are not going to be applied, but they both have Accumulate, so that monk's going to hit a fair bit harder because uh, fist damage and uh, a lot of uh, monk abilities are quadratic with their formula, so the more PA you get, the more deadly it becomes. Um, Piddly damage. Tony Brave. All right, good job. Damage split. All right, it's only for 30 damage. Nothing too bad. Rama, wow. He's not dead, though. He's in critical. Um, any stop rocks? Yes, there is a stop for 100 damage. That's a lot for elemental. It's got to be good compatibility. Um, another, wow, another Tony Brave lost on that night. Holy shit. Another time, and he might get, uh, I'm just trying to think of it. Yeah, if it happens one more time, he might, uh, turn into a chicken. Holy shit. <laughs> Let's see. The Geomancer has a uh, magic attack up at 12 MA, 8 PA. It's probably compatibility, too. That's why the damage was so high. Uh, but, but wow. Three-man cure for 100 HP each. Not bad. HP healing from them, but look, the Geomancer is able to reapply that. Yeah, pretty good damage from her. Because of, uh, it's got to be Compat and the magic attack up. But the Ninja's down, or status dealer. Um, the Priest is on res mode. And I knew that that uh, Oracle's going to go down. Or I should say the Summoner, sorry. If this Lancer hits him again, he should be dead. Another tw another threat, wow. So he's lowered 60 points of Brave overall. Jesus Christ. And that does connect. Unfortunately, Blade Grass does not occur there. Um, not Blade Grass, but like, the evasion does not apply. So the Monk is probably going to be on res duty. And wow, she dodged with Blade Grass. That was a 220 instant death shots. Yeah, so, yep, this is, these are all the vil uh, vanilla mechanics uh, to answer your question. Um, it's just the base game with a bunch of restrictions for Chapter 2 equipment and of the like. Because all that stat boost and shit makes it a little bit unappealing. So 2v1 with this Lancer, and he does not die. But, um, let's see. Oh, they're both dodging. A little bit unfortunate. 
Uh, they're both kind of low. Like this Lancer's... Oh! Aw, oh, he didn't survive both shots. That's too bad. So we got a 3v4, but it's this um, this monk who's doing a ton of damage. So that's the issue so far. Um, this paladin's got to do something else, though. He like He's going for heals or protect spells, and it doesn't matter because he's just dying. So he's just kind of wasting his CT. Mm -hmm. I think he was going for a heal, but... Yeah. 80 damage. It's got to be bad or worse compat. Because she does have equip armor, remember that. So it's got to be bad compat. Yeah, and that ninja, he's just um, getting out pace and oh my god. Why does the AI love using Shiva? It uh, beats me. Uh, maybe there's a prioritization list over like uh, Ramu and Ifrit. That's probably it. <clears throat> yeah, so I think that this is going to be going to uh, Hearball's team. It looks like uh, uh, Crash had a little bit of momentum, but then it's just some bad decision making that uh, took place. And then that Geomancer was able to get like a three-man uh, elemental after the after the night healed. And wow, so many points of brave lost. Ridiculous from this ninja. <laughs> yeah, that, that knight has ten brave. If he gets uh, hit by threatens one more time, he's going to be a chicken. Pretty crazy. <laughs> that's why his reaction abilities are probably not going off. Chicken? Chicken? Are we going to see the chicken? Yes, baby. There's a chicken. Yeah, hell yeah. We haven't seen a chicken for a long time. Oh. When you have the chicken status, I think you lose all evasion, if I recall. If you don't lose evasion, it's like the sleep status. You take 1.5 times as much damage. He's learning even more brave. He's went from one brave down to zero. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, see, instead of doing like 40 damage, he's doing 1.5 times that. So instead of 80, it's 120 damage. Uh... 220 damage. I don't remember if you take twice as much as a chicken from elemental damage. Yeah, 200 damage chicken. Oh, you got frozen. Now you're going to have a ice cold chicken in the fridge. God damn. All right, let's get to uh, round two then. Our small map. Let's say one, two, three. Fuck me. I'm trying to load the state, not save it. There we go. Okay. Mm. These pretzel bites are really good. Peanut butter filled with the... Uh, Salt on them. Mm. Let's see. Do I remember the small maps at the top of my head? God damn it. I hate improvisation. Let's pull up my list. Fuck it. What do we got for small maps? We got Yardo Fort City. That sounds right. With uh, Malak and all that. Okay. Yeah. Let's do that. Now yeah, you meet Malak and Rafa, and you have to save Rafa. Hmm. Yep, yep. Pretty small. Mm. Again, you could also turn this into a large map in there if they're in opposite corners too, for example. But it's okay. We'll worry about that another time. Let's pan the camera upwards. And a crit. Wow, is a crit for sixty-four damage a crit earth slash? Wow, a lot of damage. <laughs> no don't move prox. Don't know why he's casting the faith spell on himself. Very peculiar, because that's just going to increase the damage. Mind break? Nope. 42%. Mm. You would think that he would cast it on the summoner, but he doesn't. Now yeah, look at that. He just kind of killed himself because of the faith spell. What is he doing? And that's pretty good. 20 faith. Mm. Do I decide? No, these are... Um... Hold on one sec, one sec. Now, keep in mind that 20 faith reduced the damage significantly. There probably would have been two deaths right there. But, yeah, to answer your question, no, these are um, user-generated teams. They decide what abilities they want on their characters with some restrictions. And uh, they choose the units, their brave and faith values with some uh, balanced parameters. Any uh, darkness? Nope. MA save. Increase the chances ever so slightly. Uh, I can't name them offhand. Um, I'll be putting this up on YouTube and I'll put a link in the description. Uh, I have a bunch of, uh, the rules listed in the descriptions. Um, I don't remember what they all are offhand. So, uh, looking at this match though. Yeah, this is definitely going to hero ball. Um, that ninja's just been fucking everybody's day up. And then the Lancer foolishly casted faith on himself. He got himself killed instantly. So this is definitely going to hero ball. This is incredibly quick, uh, um, 
best of three, both of these. Um, yeah, there we go. So, uh, yeah, I do. Uh, I try to run these on an everyday basis. Um, I did this all of January. I had some stuff going on for a while, and I just started this first week of July again. So I try to run these. I've been running these late, and I want to run these more often, like during the middle of the day, like the AI battle. So I want to run them like, you know, 2, 3 p.m. and shit. So, um, but uh, yeah, I guess I'll have a little conversation before I go with you, uh, Zeke Fen. Um, yeah, I... Uh, I mean, I guess one of the things that you'll notice about the AI is that they prioritize um, Fenzy. Okay. Keep that in mind. One of the things that I find is that the AI prioritizes resurrection over killing people most of the time. And then uh, when they're in critical, they'll run away. So you can just effectively ignore that unit um, for like, you know, when you're doing a single player playthrough. Um, they're very good at being able to use mimics. They'll also ignore people that they inflict death sentence on. Um, if somebody's going to die to, let's say, a spell, they won't inflict any more damage. They'll do the minimum amount of damage necessary to kill someone. So if you could throw a weapon and kill someone for 60 damage, even though you have the option to kill someone to do it for 80, they'll do the throw the weapon that does 60 damage. So, yeah, those are just a couple of things. Um, I actually have to get to work, Benzi. I know it's been kind of short-lived, but, uh, yeah, I'm also uploading this to YouTube as well. So um, thanks for stopping by. And I'll definitely be streaming a lot more this uh, weekend since I have the weekends off. So, all right. Have a good one. And I uh, hope all of you guys uh, enjoyed this. Take care.